So the goal of the Soul Survivor's military service record is to provide players with the ability to create whatever military backstory you want your Soul Survivor to possess. The goal of this mod is to make the Soul Survivor feel like an actual veteran of the Sino-American War. This mod makes no distinction between Nate and Nora when it comes to the available options for the Soul Survivor. I do recommend using War Veteran Female Soul Survivor by Holy Chalk Milk in conjunction with this mod, but that's my personal preference. So when the mod activates, it allows the players to choose what service branch their Soul Survivor served in. First is the Army, then the Marine Corps, then the Navy, then the Coast Guard, and finally the Air Force. Once your service branch is selected, the player will receive a custom perk that has its own bonuses and two additional perks that best represent that branch's basic training. Next, the player gets to choose whether their sole survivor was enlisted or they were a commissioned officer. This will award the player the commission type custom perk that has its own bonuses and two additional perks that best represent that kind of training. From there, the player gets to choose what rank their sole survivor was. For the enlisted, that goes from E1 through E9. For officers, that goes from O1 through O9. This will award a custom perk to the player that has no bonuses. In addition, the player will receive a number of bonus perk points equal to the rank they selected, so rank has its perks. Next up, the player gets to choose the military occupation their sole survivor was trained in. There's a selection of options from ones that I felt were distinct and or usable, or that I added in by request. This will award players a custom perk with no bonuses and three perks that best represent the kind of training that goes with that career. Then you come to the advanced training options. Some of the options are available across all branches of service, and others are unique to specific service branches. There are three rounds of the advanced training selections to represent that in the military, you can go to multiple different schools of advanced training if you qualify. So your selections will award you one custom perk without bonuses, and three perks that best represent that specific training. If you select the same one multiple times, you gain no additional benefits, so I recommend picking different ones. In each round, you also have the option of selecting none and going straight to deployments. Finally, we come to the selection of what kind of combat deployments your sole survivor endured. You have no combat deployments, light combat deployments, medium combat deployments, heavy combat deployments, severe combat deployments, and unrelenting combat deployments. Each selection will give you a different starting level. This will vary based on what variant of the sole survivor's military service record you have installed. All of the custom perks for combat deployments have associated bonuses. If you chose no combat deployments, you gain no custom perks. If you choose light combat deployments, your character is awarded the Purple Heart custom perk. If you chose the medium combat deployments, you are awarded the Purple Heart and the Bronze Star custom perks. If you choose heavy combat deployments, you are awarded the Purple Heart, the Bronze Star, and the Silver Star custom perks. If you chose severe combat deployments, you are awarded the Purple Heart, the Bronze Star, the Silver Star, and the Gold Star custom perks. And finally, if you choose the unrelenting combat deployments, you will receive the Purple Heart, the Bronze Star, the Silver Star, the Gold Star, and the Medal of Honor custom perks. Just as a note, I created the Gold Star custom perk to replace the Army Distinguished Service Cross, the Navy Cross, and the Air Force Cross to keep the award uniform across all service branches. After you are finished with all of your selections, if you have the playthrough's unique backstory for your sole survivor. If you don't like the selections that you made, that makes the mod makes a full save right before the menu comes up, so feel free to reload and go again. Good luck and have fun.